Scorpio, this is all about you. What's up, guys? Um, please do check out your romantic tarot. There's some deep, deep healing that you're going to be going through in terms of romance and love. And this is the kind of cleansing that comes um, before great rewards. I believe that. Um, but this is definitely um, this this. Mercury retrograding in Pisces is going to even dig up, I, I had mentioned this, dig up past life feelings and past life experiences and emotions. And there's definitely a lot that you've learned through heartache. And so if there's something coming, trying to come into your life now, that's going to cause you the same type of pain, this kind of pain and these memories and these, maybe even reliving some of these feelings from the past, will help you to not repeat those same patterns. This is a three week period of healing coming up for you. Let's see what your predictions are for the next seven days, Scorpio. This is your weekly Oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Um, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Mercury, Venus, wherever Scorpio influences your chart, you can take this energy reading and you can apply it to that portion of your natal chart see how it fits in. If it doesn't fit, don't squeeze it. There is always an extended off of this reading, which articulates everything that we start here in, in a kind of articulates it through, um, through tarot and uh, includes an additional romance reading for the next seven to 10 days of whenever you're seeing the Scorpio, the time is right. So let's get into Scorpio energies. Um, Scorpio energies, Scorpio energies, Scorpio energies, Scorpio energies. Ooh, okay, already. We have time for a deep dive and bring a gentle touch. It was sort of on its side, but that's okay because I feel like either way, the bottom line is feel it to heal it. This is um, how you treat yourself this week. This is 100% about, about you. Um, there's also going to be this energy of you softening, um, becoming a little bit more vulnerable, a little bit more receptive to opening up and feeling feelings, sharing things about yourself that you normally would not have. There's a little bit of this underlying churning that's happening, um, almost like that, you know, stuff on the bottom that collects on the bottom coming to the top. Um, all of this is because your heart needs to heal. There's an energy of things that you either buried or tried to freeze that are now coming back to be experienced and to be lived. So Scorpio, this could be a very, very trying week, a very difficult week for you, a very, a week full of a lot of suffering. However, that's why this bring a gentle touch is right out here. This is Virgo energy. This is Libra energy. Virgo is a healer and Libra, Libra is an equalizer. So there, whatever you're experiencing this week is to purify you, to heal you. I read, and I, I know a lot, most of you guys were with me, but I read this quote about the Scorpio moon. When a moon is in Scorpio, um, about the Scorpio energy, about how Scorpios tend to these extremes because without the extremes, it doesn't feel like they're purifying themselves. The extremes, the fire, the ice, they help to purify things. And this is a huge cleansing period. This is what you do, what you do for. The hurt, the pain, the suffering, there is an energy of, hold on a second. There is an energy of it working its magic during this first week of Pisces season. An extremely psychic time, a time where that you won't be able to avoid how deeply you are connected to things, but understand that this is very Plutonic psyche. So, um, and, and what I mean by that is not that Pluto has anything to do with it, but yeah, it does in the sense that it, um, it's about past lives. It's about future lives. It's about that connectivity that goes beyond the 3d world. Okay. Which you have access to at all times. Um, but it's going to be especially intense. If it would surprise me if you didn't feel like you were actually living there and only there in this timeless space this week. Um, having a sense of eternity and connectivity to everything that you've experienced and all those emotions that you've gone through and all those lessons that you've learned and that have stayed with you 
throughout this lifetime, most especially um, anything recent that has harmed you or hurt you or that you have tried to push away, um, it will be you will be confronting it. And I do believe that you will be confronting it with love and with understanding and with uh, faith that this is all helping somehow. It's what you actually need because honestly, there is no pain like the pain that you've buried. There is no suffering like the suffering you've tried to escape. And if that comes back to you this week, there is no, there is no greater opportunity for purification, cleansing, and healing so you can move on and this is what happens and it's going to be happening to us especially water signs since mercury is retrograding in um pisces remember when mercury retrograded last year in november when it retrograded in scorpio it was a very intense time a lot of um a, a lot of discovering maybe things about yourself maybe discovering things about other people that were hard to accept things being thrown in your face that you didn't want to see, um, emotions coming up, reacting to things that you didn't expect to react that way from, but it's because of the rememory type of energy of, of, of something that you were experiencing in the present time, reminding you of another time, and then those emotions blending into each other as if time hadn't passed at all. Expect those same kind of things only deeper, um, only cross generations and cross lives because Pisces is that energy that can dig up and uh, that can dig up um, those energies and those connections from multiple lives. So understand that the intensity is going to be here. And so here we have crowning your reading, this big message that you need, especially this week, Scorpio, be kind to yourself, especially. Honestly, just Pamper yourself, take time with yourself, don't try to push yourself, understand that this is maybe the time away or a break that you need, um, be very forgiving to yourself and to others. The harder you are and the more you fight, the, the greater the suffering will be. This is a suffering that will lead to that kind of cleanse that you spiritually and psychically crave. So believe in it and let it flow over you and in the rest of the areas of your life, give yourself that break and that time that you need to um, sort of that space and that distance from other things that you need in order to in, just enable this energy and let it do what it needs to do. There's a lot of faith that is going to be required for this week. This is the energy of nine, so the energy of something coming to the surface, feeling it to heal it, that white head showing up, it needs to be popped. The sickness will be very evident and very obvious. This is romance. This is love. This is romantic love. So um, like I said, this I don't like to pinpoint these readings. I like to keep very, very general, but I can't ignore that this is the crowning energy. Something needs to be healed so that your heart can open up and trust. There's also this energy of you might need to, you somebody else may be going through their sort of purging period. Somebody in your life who you're very close to and that matters a lot to you. So this is the energy of being there for them, being supportive, but also um, sort of guiding them and helping them see their way through. If you could be their light in a dark, dark time, um, that could be what you're going through as well this week. Um, and I know it sounds like doom and gloom. It's really not. It's really not. It is It is really 100% the pain of resetting a bone that was crooked and deformed and formed incorrectly. Yes, you're breaking it open again, but I feel like there is a consciousness behind this and it's your consciousness. So this is not happening to you, it's happening through you. And that's why there's such strength in your experiences this week. Things trickling out, things dripping out, things being very hard to come out, not wanting to come out. These cards are struggling. There's also, they're also like tentative, like they're, they're hesitant. Let's put it that way. That's the energy that I'm feeling, Hesit hes hesitation. 
Um, surrender now. This is the energy, like a moth to a flame. I don't care if I get burnt. This is what I have to be and what I have to experience right now. This is Sagittarius energy, chaos. This is basically um, surrendering to the chaos. And this is 100% courage. Three plus nine is the energy of 12 plus three, uh, one plus two, this is three. The energy of three, which is Holy Trinity. The divine has got you. Trust in this burn, trust in... It, like literally you will be confronting things that will make you feel like you're, you're crashing and burning. You may feel like you're crashing and burning all week, but a hundred percent it's about feeling the crash and feeling the burn and choosing this experience. I, I really do believe there's a consciousness behind it. I don't, this is not happening to you. It's happening through you. I'm probably going to say that a number of times throughout this reading, because I know that I want you to hear it. I don't want you to feel it and know it and believe it. Um, but it will, there was, there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to let burn this week. A lot of things like think Angela Bassett in that scene from waiting to exhale. There's a lot of things that you're going to be intentionally watching burn this week. Um, sweet results await. This is, what did I say? Consciousness. This is you driving this energy. This is a strong sense of self. This is Leo energy. Also, there is sweet results. Sweet results await. So you're creating these sweet results by what you're doing now. This burn is like burning down a controlled burn, not like a forest fire that's ravishing and raping the land, but a controlled burn that helps to refertilize the soil. That's exactly what you're doing. It is strategic. You have control of this. You are building the future and you're starting here. So smart. You're starting with the soil itself. Even before you plant the roots, you're making sure that that soil is fertile and nutrient rich. That's what you're doing. And you're doing it by laying waste to all of those things that are sort of hogging the nutrients right now that are trying to like hold on to those nutrients. No, you're forcing them to be released to, um, to ferment the future, not to ferment, to fertilize the future. That's what you're doing. B works very hard. This is about hard work. This is about strategy. This is about faith. This is about, um, you earned this, honey. You earned it. Two fire signs, Sagittarius and Leo. I don't know if you're dealing with fire signs or you're dealing with this energy. It's just this energy of fire. And it could have something to do with Mars going into Capricorn, really sort of igniting this sense of purpose and strength that you will, in other words, I'll do anything I need to do to get it done. And if, and that translates for you and for other us water signs, Scorpio, emotions, letting it burn, hurting, struggling, suffering, to purge it, get it out, and make it something fertile. Damn. What did I keep saying to you? It's not happening to you. It's happening through you. And look at the card that pops out. Magic works through you. You are the bridge between life and death. This is Cancerian energy. Uh, it could be your energy as well because it is a bridge between life and death. This is transformation and transcendence of the common self, the current self, and it is intentional. There is intent here. There is. This is not just spirit is pu pushing it out. No, you are. Ha it is. You are. You are. You have chosen to be the conduit. You are conducting this energy and intentionally transforming your life in all cases, in all situations, no matter what the cost, the dung beetle, scarab beetle slash dung beetle, beetle taking literal doo-doo and turning it into something that they can use for their future, that they can make work for them. This is a magical, magical time. Also the energy of seven. You have seven and seven sitting right next to each other. Lucky seven and seven. Lots of insect energy, lots of insect energy. What does that mean? It means you're a survivor. It, insects are, are extreme survivors. They're capable of surviving in extreme circumstances in extreme situations. And they do things, they do the work for the planet. They're, all, they're, the, they're, they're the conductors of the planet. They're the conductors of the material, um, of, of cells and material items. But nobody really gives them that credit for it. We're always just like killing them. <laughs> 
but that's essentially what you're doing. You're conducting, you're taking the nutrients from one thing and you're, you're breaking them down so that they are in a form that is accessible to you, your life, your future, and to people that you care about. Oh. I just like felt a thud, like right here. You are transcending your very self. This is that cocoon period. What did I, what I, how do I always explain the cocoon? Breaking down, experiencing a breaking down to build up and become something new. Now, with the crowning energy, it could have direct effects on your romantic life. Watch the romantic tarot. I'll put the link above. Scorpio, this energy is intense in terms of it could be just undoing your current relationship or finally revealing aspects of yourself that you never wanted to confront before, even if that means the destruction of your current relationship or risking it. This is the energy that needs to happen. It needs to come out because it's all about truth and it's all about what you are becoming, not what you've been. This is your central energy all about transcendence and also flying. You could be traveling, traveling somewhere to find um, awakening, awakening to your higher self. I would not be surprised if you're getting imagery, you're getting downput downloads, you're getting messages constantly and you're dreaming like crazy. Trust all of it, listen to all of it and calmly and with patience, take stock of all of it. Don't try to figure it out. Let the messages come to you. Um, clear out the cut clutter. This is reversed energy. So you've been holding on to something. And this is the week where it all comes out. What have you been holding on to? You're afraid. There's still parts of you that are absolutely afraid, that do not want to let go. But then there's an other part of you. It's like you're dueling inside yourself this week. You'll feel it. You'll feel that duel happening inside of yourself. I don't care that you want to hold on to it. I'm cracking through. Your ice is breaking this week. Breaking apart this week. Why? Because of a fire that you set. You're setting the fire to your own ice. This is claim your independence. Uh, but it's in reverse. So this feeling of being afraid, being afraid of what you're capable of, of what you may find buried beneath those buried inside that ice. Like I said, who knows? It could be a woolly mammoth from like, I never had a woolly mammoth in my life. What the heck is this from? You're, you're, there's going to be a lot of surprises here and you're going to feel like you're honestly drained completely and totally like stripped of energy that's what happens when we awaken it feels that way i wouldn't be surprised there maybe there's a sickness like a sick a cold a flu that's happening to you the sense of not landing on your feet like you're falling you're falling you're gonna feel the fall and you're not gonna know if anybody's gonna be there to catch you let it shine this is your energy your energy coming out in your reading um, platonic energy, uh, a light in the dark, hope, finding your own voice, finding who you are. This is basically you escaping, you allowing yourself to fall, crash and burn to basically die and come back to life again. This is that experience and you'll be experiencing it all in the next seven days. That's why this is not going to be easy for you. I know that this is the energy of, but it's almost like you want the crash, you want the burn. You've been feeling this coming for a while and you're driving headlong into the wall. You want it, you need it, you, you, it's just like you're compelled toward it. Not to hurt yourself, though I'm gonna warn you, there could be a temptation to self-harm. I'm just gonna say it out loud because you need to hear it, accept it, own it, and find a way to not do it because you've healed before it happens. Um, open to infinite possibilities. So this is the truth. This is the star card, Aquarian energy, the truth being revealed, the truth coming out, and also you being seen. But I think this is less a spotlight being put on you and more a spotlight, like I said, you putting on yourself. 
you're revealing things and allowing them to be known and that you would have not, you were revealing things to the public or re, I'm not saying that it's a broadcast on television. It may be, but I'm not saying there is a broadcast on television. You are sharing parts of yourself that you've never shared before. You are open to trying and seeing how people react to these things in your life or these parts of you that you didn't even want to accept or know existed. You are more than willing to do this all out in the open. You're not trying to hide these flames. You're trying to feed them. Five plus five. This is the energy of change. You're not scared of it. You're igniting it. Believe in yourself and you really, really do. 100% all of this. What did I say? It's about fertilizing the soil so that you can plant those seeds for the future. Five plus seven is 12, which is three. Once again, divine, divinely, divinely guided, um, divine timing. The timing is perfect to plant these seeds for the future. Seeds are being planted for the future. Something is there to grow. That's why this timing is perfect because it's ripe and ripe. It's ripe. It's ripe for the planting, not the picking. It's ripe for the planting. And you have this overwhelming sense of, I know that I can make it through this. I, I absolutely know that I can make it through this, that I will get through this. So understand that whatever crash and burn happens to you this week, and there will be something. You will maybe even surprise yourself at how strongly you react, at how strong you are and how much strength you have in those moments. Like I said, I don't think it's happening to you. Like you're going to get a call, bad news. That's not necessarily what I'm feeling, but... I am feeling emotional breakdowns, something that happens to you that sort of cracks everything down and brings it all down around you through it all. You, it's, it, there's almost like a, like you ever see a building come down, but it's like a controlled demolition. That's what this is. Controlled demolition. Um, you see clearly now you don't see shit. You're not seeing clearly at all, at all. You're going blind. You're going in the dark. You're not sure. You're not certain. This is um, Aquarius energy, but it's flipped up on its side. It's upside down. It almost like all of this has been dark for a very, very long time. And you're tired of it being in the dark. You're tired of those things being secret. You're tired of the lies being told. You're tired of not knowing. You're tired of avoiding. You're tired of all of those things. And so you're pushing through the dark. You're challenging it. You're, you're asking the ghosts to come out at you. Love is all around. But this is upside down. Why? Because this is Gemini energy. This is Mercury energy. Everything's going to feel upside down, discombobulated, miscommunications, feeling like you're abandoned, feeling like people are pushing you in ways that you don't want to be pushed. This is going to, it's going to feel like there's discombobulation all around you emotionally. Emotionally, it's like the mechanics of your emotion are all breaking down. And basically, you're just going to like, you're going to throw the bomb in and say, break down, forget about it. I'm going to explode this. I'm just going to blow the car up. That's, that's the energy of emotionally, you're going to get to that point, at least by the end of the week, where you're just like, if it all wants to come down, I'm going to be the one that guides it down. I'm going to be the one that brings it down. Ooh, take the lead. When this card is in reverse, it is 100% taking root. Taking root so that something can grow. Do you see? But this is the divine timing. What I say the time is ripe to plant. You are starting something completely new. You are trying some, to start something completely new though. You have to try something completely new, which means going blind, diving into something, not caring because whatever it is, is less frightening than not knowing and the secrets that you were living against. A hundred percent. And learn from the past. Oh, once again, energy of seven, the strength, the courage, the memories, elephants never forget. All of those things, you're breaking through the ice. You're, why are you going through all this? To be stronger, to teach yourself, to arise out of the flames as something that is all conquering, all knowing, gentler and stronger in its gentleness and its strength. 
it, it, it's strong in its gentleness, strong in its vulnerabilities, in that elephants are very attached to their families. Elephants love purely and truly. They have memories. They have emotions. They share it openly. They share it outwardly. This is you not being closed down with your emotions, but owning them. That's why you're going through all this, because you want to transform into somebody that doesn't have to hide or keep yourself away from the world or pretend to be a, a hard ass on the outside or, you know, always defensive. No, this is you being able to incorporate all of you transforming yourself like that butterfly energy into full spread. This is who I am and this is what I'm capable of. I'm owning, owning all of me and I'm not hiding any of me anymore. Too much of a burden. I, I don't want it. I'm more in control like this. It's like realizing that you're more in control when you don't have to keep the secrets. It's realizing that the secrets aren't what keeps you in control. They're actually what keeps you in prison. And now you want to own and control everything about yourself so that, listen, it's almost like if you ever listen to an Eminem rap, like if you listen to him rapping, he unveils all of his demons so that nobody else can unveil them for him. You understand? That's what this energy is, 100%. 100% being vulnerable and feeling the strength that comes from being vulnerable and exposing yourself. I'm going to flip this camera around so we can review the cards. Hold on. This energy is filled with fire. It's filled with fire because you're watching it burn. And 100%, this is the best metaphor that I have for this entire reading, Scorpio. Because like I, I always say, excuse me. When the, when the caterpillar goes into a cocoon, it is destructive. It is death. It is literally everything about the, cal the caterpillar breaks down into its basic elements to rebuild itself in a new form. So through that destruction, there is a beautiful transcendence. But please understand that continue the metaphor. Scorpio, the caterpillar does it to themselves. This is not happening to you. It's happening through you. I told you I'd be saying that like crazy. This is controlled demolition. You are taking yourself out. You are cracking your own icebergs. You are upending, your, upending yourself. You are shining a light in your own dark. You are facing your own demons all to strengthen yourself and strengthen everything and liberate yourself from those situations that are just bogging you down, holding you down, and honestly keeping you from being all that you really are capable of being. Now is the time, whether you're 20, whether you're 40, whether you're 70, doesn't matter what age, this is your time that you're ready. And this energy that is this power that you are getting from this Mercury retrograde is I mean, you're not going to come out the same person. You're going to come out better. Um, I'm definitely going to go over to the extended. Scorpio, please do join me. I want to see where your journey is going. And I want to see the key players in all of this. Maybe people that you're dealing with or that are helping you, hurting you, harming you. Um, um, your way through. That's what I want to see. And then more on romance as well. I'll see you guys over there.